Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a simple explanation of what draw order is in Live 2D. Draw order is the order in which Live 2D, the program, stacks the art meshes, aka the parts. So it would be basically each little piece like this, it's telling the program how to layer each piece. Draw order settings can be found in the inspector tab right here. It has a little button where you can move the number in increments or you can manually type in a number. You can think of the concept of layering in Life 2D similar to making a paper at all. In Life 2D, you give each art mesh a number based on how high or low it is stacked. A lower number means it's in the back while a higher number means it's further up. You can see this numbering taking place as I stack each paper piece in order from the bottom to the top. When you open a file in Live2D, all the meshes are set to 500 and are stacked however you left them in your drawing program. In this case, we can see that the model head here looks basically how it did printed out and stacked. But since all the layers are in the same draw order, aka the same number, if we were to move a layer from the back to the top, then it would cover everything under it. This is because we did not set the draw order from the highest to the lowest yet. You may be thinking, oh, well I can just leave everything at 500 and keep everything stacked how it is as long as it looks right, right? And while yes, you can, you can quickly run into issues if you begin to organize the meshes into folders or if you want to do more advanced techniques that might require adjusting the draw order of each layer. Whatever numbers you start with are purely up to preference. You can start from the bottom layer and go from one, or you can start from 500 and subtract a number as you go down. You don't have to stick with increments of one either. I personally tend to do increments of five and will sprinkle in a few layers that are separated by only increments of one. It's purely up to however you see fit. For this example, I'm going to start with the way I usually do it, which is starting from 500 and then going down by increments of five. And now that every piece has its draw order set, I am now free to create folders to better organize my layers. As you can see here, now everything is organized nice in their own folders. So now I can find everything much easier. My name is Universe Cat, and I hope this explanation helped you understand draw order a little bit better. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Bye bye. Sweet dreams.